Question 14 on the OCR Gateway Specimen P3 section. This question is about car safety. Modern cars have many safety features. Look at the diagram. They have many more than this actually, but I think because they've given you seatbelt and crumple zone, that's really what they want you to focus on, and that's certainly what you'll have learnt about in your lessons. Um, safety features need to be tested to make sure they are effective. Describe how test data could be gathered, evaluated, and the factors that should be considered to produce safer seatbelt and crumple zone designs. This is one of the quality of written communication uh, questions. So go ahead and think about your structure first. Write something, I'm going to suggest you write something about how the data is gathered first, how it's evaluated next, and the factors that need to be considered to actually increase the safety um, effectiveness of the crumple zone and of a seat belt. And they both work in a similar way actually. Okay, over to you. Pause the video and come back and I'll give you some tips. Okay, so welcome back. So firstly, write something about how the data would be gathered. Then about how it is evaluated. And lastly, about factors for safer design. Okay, so how's the data gathered? Well, maybe you've seen the use of crash test dummies. <laughs> Again, I'll just remind you, i would just do little bullet points because there's loads of different things you could say, but write a few of these in full sentences and these things. And they often use slow-mo, slow motion to analyze those uh, crashes. They uh, also put sensors on the dummies Uh, that's if um, that's a more modern way to do it now it, with um, accelerometer sensors just like the accelerometer in your phone uh, they used to actually use the, the uh, dummies to analyse the forces in slow motion by using video tracking um, they, they use different sizes of, of crash test dummies to, you know, to simulate kids and adults they carry out different types of crumple zones, different designs, different cars, and they vary the speed. They vary the speeds. They also repeat. You might think about that from your own experimentation. They don't just do one and think that's, that's definitely uh, for certain. They repeat. They um, and calculate averages. How is that? data going to be evaluated well they use statistics and they use charts and graphs but importantly it goes to a process of what we call peer review there's a very important idea in science peer review so other people actually inspect the science and look for gaps look for things that could have um, negated the results, could have made the results invalid. They use data from different sources. Uh, that's about uh, re reproducibility. And they make comparisons. Now I'm going to put this one in a different colour out to this last one, but I think it's very important is this idea of validity. Does it work in a real world setting? Well, is it a fair test? And does it apply to the real world? It's okay a car being completely safe in the lab underneath test conditions and then it goes out in, in onto the road and that safe design feature doesn't work for some reason because it doesn't apply to the real world. If 
our science doesn't apply to the real world, then there's no point in doing it at all. Factors for safe, safer design. Well, all these two uh, um, design features, they're designed to increase the impact time. Okay, now if you increase the impact time, you have a lower force. And that's because acceleration or deceleration is less. And that's a consequence of Newton's second law. Uh, but also you dissipate the energy over a longer time. Okay, so you dissipate. Energy more slowly uh, and that means that there's less injury less risk of injury it's always the energy that does the damage and the quicker that energy is dissipated the more likely it is to do damage I've got a video which talks about those design features that I shall put a link to